video is installing Bright Builder 6, so I'm going to take you through what to do after you've downloaded uh, the Bright Builder package here. So here's my desktop, and here's my uh, file that I've downloaded from the web. And I'm just about to go through this. We're going to go through installing Bright Builder, how it automatically goes ahead and then in installs the Bright Forms mobile device engine, and then I'm going to take you through. Uh, running that even on it. I've got my PDA here. This is the Intermix CN50 here. And we're going to run the Bright Forms, uh, our first uh, startup project, running on that device as well. So here I go. Double click on the installation file, and we're going to go through here. It's coming up as Bright Builder 6.0.0, and we're going to go through all the steps uh, piece by piece to take you through. Okay, so the first splash screen arrives, and we're at Bright, Bright Builder 6, and we'll just take it through the steps here one at a time. Um, we get shown the license agreement, which you can scroll through. The uh, release notes come up as well, which show some of the history and all the, some of the past fixes that are applying, especially for the most recent uh, fix. You can see them all there. I'm just going to go through and select the default uh, installation destination. I'm running this on Windows 7, my install the my laptop here that I'm about to install on. Okay, so the Bright Builder installation file is actually it's actually not uh, digitally signed. So Windows 7 will come up and ask you about an unknown publisher. So I'm just going to head and go ahead and click yes on that. Okay, so this video is slightly edited to take out some of the time taken to actually go through the physical installation. But now we've arrived to the end of the uh, installation. Um, I've got my uh, shortcut has arrived on the desktop. That's come as part of this installation. Now I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And what will actually happen is it'll go to the next stage, which is actually installing the Bright Forms uh, mobile device engine onto this laptop as well as the Bright Builder. So Bright Forms. I'm just going to go ahead and click hit hit next here a couple of times. I'm going to agree and go through and take the standard installation area the same as before. So we want to have Bright Forms installed onto the same machine as the developer engine, and I'll be able to demonstrate exactly for why for you later on. Because what we'll do is we'll run a uh, project and get it going in the and we're going to actually just run the, the, the project actually on Bright Forms here on the actual laptop. And then we're going to hit run again. We'll be able to run the same project on the PDA here. This is what I'm running here. Is a, uh, I've got my physical PDA to the side of me here, but I've got a, a nice little tool from SOTI, S -O -T -I, that we use all the time for our training and demonstration uh, presentations as well. So what you've got here that I'm just shaking there is the uh, a presentation. It's a total mock-up of what of the physical screen coming from the PDA. So Bright Forms is actually finished, and I'm all done. I'm all installed. So what I'll do now is run Bright Builder for the first time. Get my splash screen, and then I am in Bright Builder for the first time. So here we have the IDE. Uh, I've got a projects area from for the current projects that I'm working on. Servers area is the, is the current servers that uh, I can I can connect to. So there's a live servers that I can connect to. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just create a brand new project here. There's two types of projects in Bright Builder. There is the BSP Bright Server project for Bright Forms. This is the PDA handheld application, if you like. And the BEP is the Bright Server project. This is a Bright Server uh, conf server configuration. I'm just going to go ahead and select the top one, the BSP, because what I want to do is create a brand new project. So I'm just going to take the new project file name. That opens up here. And I've got the basic building blocks of my project. And I'm not going to talk too much about them, these individual items in this video. We'll leave that for another video another time. But for now, what I'm going to do is just create a brand new form, so a brand new screen. And I'm just going to put uh, the classic Hello World. 
static text there. I'll select my project again and I'm just going to hit play. And what this will do is this will play like bright form. So this is Bright Builder here uh, is the develop development tool that's launched Bright Forms here running on my uh, running on my on my laptop. So then I'm just going to hit close on that and come back to Bright Builder there. So that's that's so we've installed we've successfully installed Bright Builder here. We've successfully installed Bright Forms here on the same device. So for the first time, what I'll do, okay. So I'm about to run. This, I'm about to run the execute on remote device option. So with my PDA connected to my laptop, all I have to do is click on this button, and um, what well, looks like an error really. It's looking. It's looking to see if Bright Forms was found was on that device, and it's seen that it's not there. So Bright Builder is set up to automatically. Uh, install the Bright Forms application to the PDA. So I'm going to say yes. I would. I would like to go ahead and install. And it's now going to take the cab file, which is the uh, installation file for Bright Forms, and automatically send it down the connection to the to the device. So it's just telling me that that's, that that's happening. So I'll take a look at my PDA here, and it's already halfway through the installation, which is great. So, um, one, and so, so it's going to go through and install Bright Forms completely onto the PDA, and then once that's done, then it will actually run our test project, the Hello World project, on the PDA. So it's just about to finish. So, okay, so it's ready. It's installed on the device, and I'll come back to Bright Builder and say, okay, that's finished. So then Bright Builder takes the next step and in it uh, well it finishes off the installation and then it will launch the project on the device. So it'll send the send the device, send the project down the line to the machine. So there I have uh, the application running on the PDA, which is great. So if I stop running on the PDA and that's it. So what we've demonstrated is how to install we've taken a walkthrough for Bright Builder installation, which goes ahead and installs Bright Forms automatically and also demonstrated and walked through the installation of the PDA. So I'm ready to go. Thanks for this thanks for watching this video and there will be, um, there's many more videos available on the brightexpress.com website and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks bye.